scriptures, we about to swerve. Satan's duck and God is with cause we about to swerve. How you ask these in these streets, and we about to swerve. We got this word and we gon' preach, cause we about to swerve. Preach, we about to swerve. Preach, we about to swerve. Before you right now is the real children of Israel, That's God's right. chosen people. So what about right. Hold on a second. Please. What's happened right now is we're done with your lies. We're done with your Christianity. We're That's done right. with your lies concerning Jesus no. Christ. Right. And we yeah, picked up the Bible for ourselves and actually read right. for Are ourselves. You know? right. 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 One second. Give me Romans, the third chapter. I want the fourth verse. Look at you. Listen to the Bible. Since we're entertaining this right now. Romans chapter 3 and verse 4. Come on. God forbid. Read. Yay, let God be true. What we have done is we have said to hell with the so-called white man's doctrines. To hell we were taught over here in the land of our captivity. We're going to let God be true. Read. But every man a liar. But every man a liar. We're not going right. to We're not going to believe anybody. We're going to believe what's in the word of God. Right. Come on. As it is written. As it is what? As it is written. Read on. That thou mightest be justified in thy sin. When we speak something, when we say something, we're justified through the word of God. What you see now is you see men that have risen up, understood who they are, and have turned back to their true nationality. We're observing, we didn't say anything about color of our skin. We're observing the laws and statutes of the Most High God, and we're doing so through the Bible. Okay. What's your question? Okay, so the prophet Jonah was an Israelite, correct? Absolutely. When Jonah went and preached to Nineveh, they were... Right. Was, was Nineveh, were they Israelites? Do you know the history of Nineveh? Of Nineveh? They were, yeah, they were taken as captives by the Assyrian king. That's right. You know who Salmaneser is? We have many captivities under what the Israelites went under. The major ones was you had Egypt under Ramses, afterwards we came out. You had the Assyrian captivity under Salmaneser, king of Assyria. He took the northern kingdom as slaves, the northern right. kingdom of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were not taken. What happened was, places like Nineveh, you know who Tobit is? You ever heard of Tobit? Yeah. Okay, Tobit was from that area as well. He was from the uh, tribe of Naphtali. Tobit that? prophesied, I'm sorry? No, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay. Tobit was one of those that observed the laws of the statutes of the Most High God. Whatever the case were, there were Israelites that were scattered in that area. Same thing with Babylon. Well, my question was this, was the Assyrians were considered to be a Gentile nation, yet Yes. God sent Jonah to them to give them an opportunity to repent. No, sir. He sent. He, said, he, had, like, he had a simple message: repent, or you'll be destroyed. Right. And he was giving the nation an opportunity. It said everybody in the no, nation sir. repented. No, sir. He was giving the, the Israelites. Listen, give me James. James one, one and verse one. Come on. James, a servant of God uh -huh. and of the Lord Jesus Christ, Read. to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Give me Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. What you're going to find out is that the Israelites were referred to as those nations wherein they were scattered. It was not like right now. I'm an Israelite and I'm called an American. You Like Paul. What tribe was Paul from? He was actually a Benjamin. Benjamin. So, so, right, so what did he consider himself? What was his nationality? The Hebrew, the Hebrew. He was an Israelite. You said Roman, why? Because in Acts, whenever they took him, whenever the, the Romans... He was a Roman, he was also a Roman. So this is... Same thing with the Assyrians. Israelites being known as Assyrians. They were taking as those, those other nations took them, and they adopted those names. Same thing with the Greek. Same thing with the Babylonian captivity. So, so can I ask you a question about... What was the hold name? on one second, let me finish my point. Okay. Read. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. Read. Wherefore, remember that ye being in times past, 
Gentiles in the flesh, Gentiles in the flesh, read, who are called a circumcision by that which is called the circumcision. When you understand the history, you had the southern kingdom of Israel calling the northern kingdom of Israel uncircumcised, Gentiles, heathens. They were referred to as this, why? Because the northern kingdom decided they didn't want to follow the Most High anymore. They didn't want to sacrifice in Jerusalem. So they referred to as Gentiles. What's your next question? The blanket that came down from heaven where Peter had a vision uh, that God gave him. Acts and 10. Yeah, and he said, uh, God said, kill and eat. And he said, I've never eaten anything unclean. And God said, don't call what I've made clean, unclean. And it was all, all unclean animals. It was basically all creatures. And it was a symbol specifically for him to go to Cornelius' house because he was a Gentile, not of Jewish origin. Wrong. But, wrong. well, I mean, that's your interpretation, but I don't agree it's with wrong. you. It's so wrong. Watch. You Hold on one second. Give me Matthew chapter 15. I, I wanna, I'm not trying that's to cut okay. you off. I'm just I trying to deal with this question. Watch this. Give me Matthew 15. Is Jesus Christ alive? That's a trick. You know? Of course he's not. Uh, it's a trick question, but well, what happens in doctrines, that's essentially what you're saying. And this is what, what, I, what I mean by that. Matthew, Matthew 15. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Start at verse 21. Verse 21. Come on. The, then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Read. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. This woman was a, a Kenyanite woman of basically African descent, right? Y'all understand who Canaanites are? Uh, yeah, I mean, Canaanite doesn't mean African. Yes, they were actually the sons of Ham. But then we'll, that'll take us somewhere else. But read on. And cried unto him, saying, Come on. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Read on. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So when Jesus Christ came, was he not healing people, bringing people yeah. back from the dead, right? This woman came and she said, Lord, my daughter got a devil on her. This yeah. woman was a Canaanite, correct? Read. But he answered her not a word. Read. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Come on. Send her away, for she crieth after us. So here come his disciples. Send her away. She's crying on us too. Why didn't he answer the woman? I've come out for the. Do you want to quote it or just read it? Read it. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus Christ says, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Anybody that has any type of foreknowledge of scripture and understanding in the Bible knows God gave the laws to the and commands. One second. God gave the laws to who? Who did God give the commandments to? To Adam. Okay, Adam got commands. He was not just a Jew. Hold on. Did he give them to all the people on the face of the earth? Well, Adam was all of everybody, so yeah. Did he give them to all people on the face of the earth when God gave the laws and statutes to Moses? Yeah, your name. Through Moses, he gave the law to Israel to give to the world. Okay, what scripture is that? Well, the Bible teaches that anybody who wanted to join Israel, even if they weren't of that nationality, they could. They adopted yeah, the statutes. What was that? Well, give me Leviticus 25:44. Very good. But there was a there was a difference. There's, a difference. There's always been a difference. Leviticus 25:44. Leviticus chapter 25. Yeah. Of course, yeah. the people coming into Israel had to observe the laws. Why? We weren't going to have people walking up and down the streets eating shrimp, crab, pork, and other things that was unlawful. Or breaking the commandments. Of course they had to keep the laws. Like, we have to keep the laws here in America. But read. Both thy bond men and thy bond women, uh -huh. which thou shalt have, that shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Okay, so are we under, are we under the same understanding concerning the different... How can I say this, bro? Are we understanding that the other nations were not equal to the Israelites? In what sense? I don't know. In what sense of God chose the nation of Israel and not everybody else? He chose them to be the vessel of the Messiah. He chose them the as his chosen people, right? Just to be the Messiah. To, to be the Psalms 147 and ancestors of the Messiah. Psalms chapter 147, yeah, verse 19. Yeah, he showed up his word. Unto Jacob, Come on. his statutes and his yeah, judgments sure. unto Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. What does that mean? That's right. What does what mean? Read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and judgments unto Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. No. What does Amen. that mean? The law came to Israel, but they. they he have not to... dealt so with right. any nation. What does that mean? It means he chose Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. What does that mean? That means he chose Israel specifically. Sir. 
Be honest with me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't he didn't do this with any other nation on exactly. the face of the earth. Give me Amos, the third chapter. And Israel was supposed Bring to be the best. Israel was supposed to be the priest of the whole world. I, 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 I'm not saying that you're wrong concerning that. All the nations were supposed to hold on. All nations were supposed to be in their perspective areas, worshiping the Most High God. You're absolutely right under the Israelites. Okay. What we're trying to show you is that's coming back. We are the real Jews, and when Christ comes back, he's going to set everything back in order. All oh, every knee is going to have to bow. Right. What we're trying to show you right now is that God gave his laws specifically to one people. But I so read when Christ came on the scene, who did the laws pertain to? Did God tell every nation on the face of the earth to report to Jerusalem three times a year for the high holy days? Romans chapter 2 said there was a law so law in their conscience, even if they didn't have the, the manifest law, the word, that they, there was a law Israel. in their hearts. That's talking about Israel. Again, when you read about Romans Corinth, chapter two, it's talking about Ephesians, Israel. when you read about Timothy, when you read through these different places, they're talking to the Israelites that were scattered in those areas. During the Greek captivity, we were placed in places like Ephesus, Corinth, Galatia. Israelites were scattered all throughout. What we're trying to show you is that that's who he was writing to. It was always to one specific people. This Bible from front to back has always been written to one specific people. I don't agree. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why didn't he say everyone? Because he was in a specific place in his ministry teaching them. Where does it say that in the Bible? <laughs> and that's what, clearly what it is in the narrative. Read it from what? So, I said it's clearly was it, what it is in the narrative of Jesus' ministry as What's, it progressed. What scripture shows you that Jesus Christ came and taught all nations? What so nation did he Okay, okay two, wait, wait, wait. He, he, got, he got one. Let me give hit me with it. He sent out two different groups of disciples. First time he sent out uh, just a smaller group and he said only go to Israel. The second time he sent out a huge, uh, a larger group, 70 or so disciples, and they went to everywhere and there was no discrimination about where their nationality was or the origin. Again, not true. What happened was, and, and once again, you don't understand Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom that the Jews that. had no dealings with the Southern Kingdom. No, I understand kingdom. that. They referred to them as Gentiles. Sumerians. Okay, yes, Samar Samaritans. What you don't understand is that at that point, what you're talking about, what is that, Matthews 10, 10 and 5, read that. At one point in time, he was saying, just deal with the southern kingdom. They had to get it first. After that, guess what? He says, I have other sheep that are not of this fold. Well, guess who those sheep are? The scattered 10 tribes that That's were not right. there in Jerusalem. When Christ came on the scene, all Israel yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. You had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Guess what? The rest of the tribes are also heirs to the throne. Read that again. Ma oh, no, 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 just read what you got. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. Come on. These 12 Jesus sent forth and read. commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, and into the, any city of Samaria, into ye not. Come on. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So where did they go? They stayed within Jerusalem. Why is it? You remember in Acts they told you. They went out preaching to none only but who? Right. The so Jews. And, and everybody was freaking oh. out that Paul was actually going to the Gentiles. Okay, now watch this. Give me Acts 21. Let's see who, who, who Paul was teaching. Acts chapter uh, 21, verse 19. Listen up. And when he had saluted, uh, when he had saluted them, he declared. Push start, start up higher about what, 18. Verse 18. More. And the day following, Paul went in with us unto, ja uh, unto James, and all the elders were present. This is what you're referring to. Read. And when he had saluted them, uh -huh. he declared particularly which that uh, which things God had wrought amongst the Gentile by his ministry. Now, when you hear Gentiles, you automatically think, oh, that's talking about the other nations. No, read. And when they had heard it, they glorified the Lord. They glorified the Lord, read. And said unto Wait him. Wait a minute. Why would it be an amazing thing for him to go to the Gentiles? Let's just go with your with what you're saying. Right. Why would it be an amazing because thing? Because it was very un-Jewish. Why? Yeah, they're not circumcised. Yeah, they're unclean. Why weren't they? Why weren't they circumcised? Because they didn't have right. the law. They're like, pagan. They're ungodly. Yeah. They weren't given the laws because the laws was given to one nation of people. Right. They referred to them as heathens. And Who's going to show you Leviticus God. 25? God said, those were the people that were going to be your servants. That's, right. That's what it tells you in Leviticus 25. We were never that, equal. In Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, God says if we kept his commandments, he was going to put us above all nations upon the face of the earth. There's no equality there. 
But today, what's happened in Christianity, Christianity wants to teach us that there's equality, that we're all the Christian? same. I'm sorry? I said, are you not a Christian? No, I'm a true Christian. I actually true follow Christian. Christ, right. So like I use phenomenon. Christianity as a blanket as a blanket answer because of what social so you Christianity mean false is. Christianity. Absolutely. That's right. what I'm referring to. The point is, is that there are levels concerning the, uh, the people. God's chosen people and everybody else underneath them. Even under them, there's going to be like Sabians will be above what we know today as certain Canaanites or Philistines. When you understand about the nation of Edom, which, again, I don't know your heritage, I don't know where you're from. More than likely, you are an Edomite. Because you said that you come from Ireland and things of that I nature. I came from Houston, Texas. I don't know where. Okay. I mean, I have Great job. Here, so. I jump shit right now, too, anyway. The point is, what you got to realize is that God dealt with nations, right? Read. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord. They glorified the Lord, read. And said unto him, Come on. Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews that are which believe. And hold on, hold on. So James turns and says, look, how many thousands of Jews, meaning they of the southern kingdom, there are which believe. Believe what? Believe on Christ. Read. And they are all zealous of the law. And they are all zealous of the law. Come on. And they are informed of thee Read. that thou teachest. Uh, Hold on, I want to make sure everybody's paying attention. Sorry. This is where we fall off the boat. Come on. And they Still are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews. All the who? The, all the Jews Read. which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses. So there was some confusion concerning what Paul was doing. What's happened today in the earth, give me 2 Peter 3 and 15. What's happened today in the earth is that people are confounded by Paul's writings. We read clearly when Christ says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Clearly. I think clearly you're misunderstanding what happened oh, with Paul. Oh, I mean, in John 4, you brought up the Samaritan woman. Yeah, he told that Samaritan, he said, you know not what you worship. For we know what we worship, for salvation is of who? The Jews. The Jews. Of the Jews. Why is that? Because Jesus was a Jew. Because came the, Jews. the Jews were following the law, statutes, and commandments. The northern kingdom, which she was a part of, was not. So he was explaining to her, listen, you got to learn. You got to follow me. Read on. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Read. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, has written unto you. So Paul wrote concerning what? These things that Peter's bringing up. Now Peter's about to expound on Paul's writings. Read. As also in all his epistles, uh -huh. speaking of, them, of things which are some things hard to be understood. Which are what? Which are hard to, to be, be understood. understood. Which Paul's been, writings are difficult. Paul has everybody thinking that he was speaking to all nations on the face of the earth. Is that his and intention? he was not. Yes. If Paul did not do that, then it wasn't necessarily Paul's intention. We know that everything is inspired by the Most High God. Right? Right, right, if right. he wouldn't have done that, we would have never received this Bible. Because everybody would have understood this Bible is only for the Israelites. The Jews. We're going to stick to our paganism. We're going to stick to what we got. Let them keep their books. So and they would have did like everybody else did before. Like the Babylonians. What did they do? They so destroyed God, the Bible. So God manipulated people to make them think it was for them so that, so that you could get the Bible. Absolutely. That's right. What did God say he would do to you if he did? Listen, if you did not do what God said to do, what did he say he would do to you? Give me that in uh, what's that? Second Thessalonians mm -hmm. two. Give me that. Listen, listen to the word. I know this. This listen. sounds just crazy. You're right. No, but people don't know God. What we're gonna do is we're gonna read the scripture, and then I want you to explain what it's talking about. You know what I want? Right. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse ten. Come on. With all deceivableness and unrighteousness, and them with that perish, read. because they received not the love of the truth. They that, didn't receive the love of the truth, read. that they may be saved. Read. And for this cause, and because of this, God shall send them strong delusions. Why would God do that? Okay, I'll answer that question if you let me. I'm, I'm listening. Okay, but I need to preface it with something. What's that? You want okay. to precept it? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. I, wanted, I wanted to give a little background on what you were suggesting, and then my perspective on that verse. Shoot. Okay. Uh, we're going to the scripture? Yeah, but if it's okay, I mean, you can turn to the verse. I'll Give us the verse, we'll go right there, right now. Hold on, let me just get my thoughts together. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. Let's read, while you're getting that, we're going to read this. Okay. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Read. That they shall believe a lie. Believe a what? A lie. A what? A lie. Yes, God will do this to your behind if you don't want to do what God said to you. What's the lie? And that's what happened to us. We believe the lie that, you, which I'm just going off of what you told me, 
that your forefathers fashioned for us. We believe the lie, and guess what? Feel good about this, because God used the nation of Edom. He used them to punish up, as he said in Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, because he's still hey, gathering his thoughts. Here's my comment, so. You got it. Here's, here's part of the problem with our dialogue. I appreciate it, by the way. But you're throwing out so many things, it's very difficult for me to respond to each of them effectively. So right. it's easy for you to overcome, especially when you're turning to the verse. Right. First of all, like, there's several passages in Isaiah, I believe, that talk about Edom being totally destroyed. So the, the idea of there being Edomites today, you'd have to prove that, that there's some lineage that we're not aware of, because I haven't read any historian that says that there are current day Edomites and they're Irish or Scottish people. In okay, America. do you remember the last recorded Edomite in the Bible? Do you know any? I mean, there's nations of people that are destroyed. No, no, no. We're speaking of specifically Edom. Do you remember the last recorded Edomite in the Bible? Tell me, I'll remember. The Herodians. Herod, Agrippa, they were all Edomites, Idumians. What you know today as Idumians, like the, the line of Herod, is actually what you get Khazars from, or Jewish people. They were Edomites who converted to my belief, to worshiping the Most High God. But I want to show you something, because the prophecy shows you that Edom is still here today. First thing I want to do, hold that, give me a uh, second Ezra, I want, Six, what is it? Nine. No, 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 six and nine. Who said that? Give me that. Can I, can I ask you a question while you're looking for that passage? Hold on one second. Because I didn't feel like you really answered that. Or no, we, we're gonna, we're going into it. I'm about to show you that, yes, Edom is here. Well, before that, I said, are we your enemy? Yes. And and you said, we're the devil or something like that. Can I you said, clarify, you are the devil. Could you clarify that for me? Let me clarify. Okay. If you stay out here long enough, you'll hear me say, to our people who are out here deceiving and telling our people to not keep God's laws, I'll tell them they're the devil too. When I refer to you as far as devil, it means deceiver. You know what a deceiver is? Okay, so because you're not coming with the, the correct- The word devil means adversary, I think. The word devil means deceiver. The reason being, the reason why you, you're the devil that the Bible speaks of is because you're coming with a different gospel other than the word of God. You right. ask the gentleman if you were enemies, absolutely. Reason being is because all nations have come against you us. You said that before you said anything 83. about any doctrine. Oh, I was over here. I was listening. But you said it before anything about any doctrine. I, I was listening. I, the I only thing I asked was saying. That's you, why I said you were are a deceiver. The only and just thing, like, and just as wait, wait, what you're I'm doing sorry. now is deceptive because you. You're using emotions. Let me ask no, you something. Don't be offended. We're I'm not being offended. I'm saying you're judging me based on the color of my talk. skin. No, I didn't judge you off the color of your skin. I didn't say any teaching, did I? Yes, you did. No, I said, said oh, are you listen, here to read let, me, let me rewind you back. Okay. You said, yeah, no. my forefathers are from Ireland, or something, something, whatever the case may be. You before that. Oh, before listen. That. You the asked him, well, are we enemies? I said, yes. What you don't realize is, I already know that you have a different doctrine. Why? You don't keep God's commandments. Or why are your fringes on your clothing? Why are you out here, this is supposed to be the Lord's Sabbath day, out here buying and selling and doing things of this nature. You have a different doctrine through your walk. I don't have to, to listen to your what words you and understand you, you were different? a different doctrine. How are you out here differently than what I am? I keep God's commandments. I'm out here teaching. Christ, Christ was teaching on the Sabbath. And how could you say that I'm not? You're not. How could you say that just by looking at me? I don't understand. Watch this. You're not. I mean, it's... What, be honest. What are you out here doing? I'm well, teaching, actually. What are you teaching? Why I ask you Hold on one second. Because, listen. Teaching. You're lying right now, and you know your intentions on coming out here was for what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Why are you here in Bricktown tonight? Actually, we were we were at we were going to dinner. Thank you. You're breaking God's commandments. You're not out here. You're not out here observing God's laws. You're out here breaking the Lord's laws. And you say that you follow. But I wasn't lying to you. I'm serious. Yes, you were. You said you were. You was out here to teach. Sir, you're not here to teach. You're out here to teach. No, no. You asked me what I was doing. Let me get back to the Bible. One second. We haven't eaten yet. So technically, what she just said came from a Christian dinner or a Christian was a show. Show, yeah. Okay, same thing. Come on. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter. Six, verse nine. Three. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is going to be around in the end days. Esau is what you know as the progenitor of the nation of Edom. Okay, give me the book of Obadiah. Bring it out. Bring it out. Obadiah, verse one. Okay, I'm gonna get to you in a second. Do you want me to do? You want me to jump to him right now? No. Yeah. Okay. 
after we read this. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 1. Start at 2. Verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Read. Thou art greatly despised. Talking about Edom. Come on. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Read. Thou dwellest, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. Come on. The Caucasus Mountains. Come on. Whose habitation is high. Read. Thou sayest in thy heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? The nation of Edom is extremely prideful. Why is that? Because they have risen up. They have taken control of the earth and they have basically enslaved everyone. Though thou exalted thyself as the eagle. Though what? Though thou exalted thyself as the eagle. They've been doing it since three. Give me that real quick. Though you exalt yourselves as the eagle. This eagle from Greece, Imperial Rome, Great Britain, America. You have used this eagle as your emblem, as your representation, as who you are. Are you talking to me? All of Eden. You're speaking in, the, in as far as a nation goes. Read on. Like my nation, we broke God's commandments. That's why we went into slavery. We speak as far as according to nations as, as whole. Read on. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. Oh, you set your nest amongst the stars, which happened in 1969. You set your nest amongst the stars. The eagle has landed. Prophecy being fulfilled. Read. This will I bring thee down. From that point, God was going to bring your nation down. And it happened. Lost your first war, which nobody wants to admit Vietnam was a failure. And it's been going down ever since then. Read on. Save the Lord. Read. If thieves come to thee, if robbers by night, uh -huh. how art thou cut off? So point what he's trying to prove is that the nation of Edom is still here. You go. Okay. So can I respond though? And I, I know you said you, I was gonna let you. What's your, hold on one second. What's up, man? What's your question? I have no question. Where you from, man? I'm from OKC, but I'm in the military. I'm trying to listen to what y'all saying, brother. So y'all, y'all have some shit to say. Watch this. Get you get a flyer yet? I had no. Be a flyer, brother. We're gonna give you one. Give me one. Give me what one. Branch, what branch of the military are you in? Army, brother, man. Cool. Give me a flyer real quick. Right behind what me. we out here teaching is Which that what you know today is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the chosen people of God. We are Israelites. <laughs> That's why we out here is to bring our nation back to the laws and statutes. Oh, we're tired of that with the murder. We're tired of the gang bang. We're tired of the drugs. We're trying to raise our people back to who they are. That's to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments and come back to this word. Sincerely. That's why we out here. Back to what you were saying now. No worries. Check us out, man. Who's I need a handshake. Give me a handshake. Tell me, but you gotta be doing me a favor. You stepping on our sides, bro. We understand there's no respect. Stand, stand over here, bro. Okay. okay. All right, back to what you were saying. Who yeah. had the question? Hey, hey. Final comment. Whoever well, with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You take care, brother. Yes, Go ahead. sir. Uh, unlike what you believe, I don't actually think that we are enemies because I, I believe Ephesians chapter 6 is the battle isn't against flesh and blood, uh -huh. but against principalities and rulers of darkness. Right. And I think all of us are enemies of God by nature, but God came through Christ to reconcile a man to himself, irrespective of whatever nation we came from. So I don't think of myself as better or less than you. I think that we're all human, uh, humanity. We're all under a curse of sin by our own disobedience. We've broken God's law. Here's the problem with the law. We cannot keep the law. The law is uh, supreme and shows us that we fall short of his glory. So God came in a man and fulfilled the law in Jesus Christ. And it saved us not by keeping the law, but by faith apart from the law. When our faith is in the one, in the Christ, the Messiah, his righteousness is given to us as a gift. Yeah. And so I stand before God justified because He is my salvation, He is my righteousness. And that can be the same thing for you if you go to Christ, uh, but not by your own righteousness, not by your own obedience to the law, but by your submission to Christ and accepting His gift to fulfill the law. And so now we are not under the law, but under grace. That's in the New Testament also. So because of Christ, there is no uh, Jew, nor Greek, nor male, or female. We're all one in Christ Jesus. We're all brothers and sisters if we have that same faith in Him. And so. The gospel is simply the good news right. that all of us, all of mankind can be reconciled to him by faith. That's right. By faith in Jesus Christ. How long was that? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So thank you. Notice you share. didn't use the Bible not one time. No. Bring it out. Do you no. notice no. that this is the problem that we have with you and your whole people? That was you speak life. from your heart. And I know it feels real good and warm and cozy inside. But what you said isn't in the Bible. You basically took a whole bunch of scriptures and tried to basically mash them together to say Matthew what it is that you wanted to say. He mutilated Matthew 5, 17. Oh, yeah. 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 This is, hold on, this is the problem with Christianity. 
of the world. Yes, we're talking about false Christianity. Yeah. The problem is, is that y'all have a whole bunch of feelings and opinions, but nothing is substantiated through the entire Bible. It's all, I'm gonna, hold on for a second. Genesis it's chapter all 22, dealing God with said, emotions God told Abraham, based take off Isaac the certain scriptures the mountain, that you can take out of place on the top of and the not mountain, use right? in its context. And stopped him Give me Matthew the ram 5, 17. The ram Let's hear what Jesus Christ said. Behold the Lamb of God, you take it away, it. We're gonna the read sin it. of the world. Yeah. Book of Matthew, that is, that is chapter true. 5, verse 17. Read. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Read that again. Think not that I come to destroy the law. He said that, come on. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. In the same sense, he said that we couldn't do the law. He said he didn't come to destroy the law, but we can't fulfill the law. Read Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. This is what you said. Notice, There's every a time a so-called Christian tries to deal with Christ's words, he has to run to Paul's writings. Back to 2 Peter 3, 15, what we were referring to. It's hard to be understood. Let's so read. whenever you can't understand something, when you when the laws of God come out, it doesn't settle in your spirit. You know why? Because we don't have the same spirit. The scripture flesh. says the spirit the bears record with our spirit that we are the sons of the living God. The laws weren't given to you. Therefore, you will refuse for all your life to keep God's commandments because they won't enter in. Give me, hold on one second. Give me Hebrews 8. What are you doing? Galatians 324. Galatians 324. Give me Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 1. No, we started verse 7. Verse 7. Come on. Verse 7. Read. But if, but if the first covenant had been faultless. Had the first covenant been faultless, read. Then no place had been sought for the second. Boy. For finding fault with them, read. he said, Behold, the days come, uh -huh. saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Everybody. With the house of Israel. All people. Israel. Read. And with the house of Judah. Come on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their father. Why didn't he make the new covenant or the New Testament with all people on the face of the earth? Because it was never given to all people on give, the face give us of the earth. Look back to Psalms chapter 147 and 19. Wait, Galatians 3 4. So it's our chapter turn. 5, verse 17. <laughs> Think not that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Read. Verse 18. For verily I said unto you, Read. till heaven and earth pass, Come on. one jot or one tittle Read. shall in no wise pass from the law. Come on. Till all be fulfilled. So all is fulfilled. Has Christ come back yet? Not one jot or one tittle has passed from the law. Read yes, on. Verse 19. And you know what? So and we, we try to use common sense for the Bible. Why is it that the apostles continued to keep the laws after Jesus Christ? They didn't. They did. Why did they Peter, met on the first why did day of the week. Feel so, so, not the Sabbath. So serious about not so eating those said, animals in Acts 10 that you how, think how did Paul was what he was being said was left over in the old covenant. Galatians 3.24. No, 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 no. Wherefore, because, guess what? You're interrupting the word of God here, not me. The commandments. He was confused. Should I break the laws of God? Just read it. Just read it. No. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster uh -huh. to bring us unto so Christ. Never, therefore, so break one of these least hold on, hold on. commandments. I know it sucks because you're not trained for this. Well, why, why would you? going to drown you out. Why would you? Oh, I can get louder. And teach man so. And teach so. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Come, Jesus, and you're going to die. You can't do the laws. Give me Matthew 5. Can I read you Galatians 3? Do the commandments. Can I read you Galatians 3? We can't do what God said. Hold on, what's the only Galatians is talking about? Who are the Galatians? You don't either because you're not listening. Listen to me. Explain this. That's talking about the sacrificial law. Let me read it. No, we're going to read it. And it will go to Galatians. Every scripture you've pulled, listen, we've gone to. Listen, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that, that we might be justified be by faith. faith. Even as your but after that faith has come, we are no longer is under what? a schoolmaster. Is what? Is For ye are the children of God by so faith you in Christ, Christ you Jesus, tell me not the law. law. Jesus Christ commanded me to do what? Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye therefore huh? Huh? perfect. You can't do that because Christ wasn't talking to you. Go back. But you're not giving us a chance. Read. The book of John, chapter 5, verse 45. Come on. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. Read on. There is one that accuses of you. There's what? There is one that accuses of you. Come on. Even Moses. Read. In whom ye trust. In whom ye what? 
in whom ye trust. In whom ye trust. Read. But had ye believed Moses. Had you believed Moses? Ye would have believed me. You would have believed me. You don't believe Moses. You don't believe in the laws why, why that Moses gave. Why do you think gave. that we don't believe Moses? I know absolutely because you said he, he we aren't to keep the laws. That's not what I said. You said we can't keep I the laws. I said we can't. I didn't say we're not. And does not. that mean that we just say to hell with God's laws? No. no. So why aren't you wearing fringes on your clothes? What? Why is she in pants? What? Why is his head covering and he's reading the Bible? The Christian you know, you ask me. we're out here destroying. Sorry, you ask him, not me. I'm, I'm sorry. Asking, listen, I'm talking to you too because I addressed your head covering. You're reading from the Bible. Well, you're not actually. I'm not because you're not letting you're me reading read from it. the Bible. I heard you. You tried. You attempted, hey, but it didn't work. But you have your head covered. So are you going to humble down to what the Word of God says hey, that a man is to uncover his head it, when he's praying or prophesying? No, sir. You know why? Because you hate God. It's in your spirit. Hey, 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 it's in your spirit to hate the Lord. Right. You can't do the commandments. Read that one more time. The Have you made a blood sacrifice on this Sabbath? Five, verse 48. Three. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Go back to Hebrews eight chapter complete. so I can explain Kilios the Telios is the word. Bring what they up. don't understand is that the Levitical order was the schoolmaster, the sacrificing. It had nothing to do with those laws. What you do is you group the sacrificing together with don't kill nobody, the Sabbath day, wearing fringes. Have a you made a sacrifice a today on, on the second, Sabbath? Hold on for a second. You've been wrong since you've been talking. You're not keeping the Sabbath the if you aren't making a blood sacrifice today. And the laws that God gave for us to do not to kill still were totally different. Okay. Those sacrificial laws were the, were the schoolmaster. That's what Christ came and replaced. That's the only thing that changed. He's my sacrifice. I don't need He's no my goat. sacrifice as well. Wrong. He came and died for me. Absolutely. Go back. Go back to Romans. Give me, give me Romans 9. Let's do Romans 9. This is what happens when you're under the delusion of Christianity. Read. Romans chapter 9, verse 3. Come on. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Read. For my brethren. For who? For my brethren. For my brothers, read. My kinsmen. My kinfolk. Come according on. According to the flesh. According to the what? According to the flesh. He's talking about his relatives, the Israelites. Read. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Read on. To who pertain of the adoption. Hold on. Once again, we didn't say it wasn't about skin. We said it wasn't about skin. color. We're talking about nationality. Read again, please. Read it slow. He's, Verse he's three. Ragging. For I wish that, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Come on. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh, meaning what? My relatives. I'm not talking about color. I'm talking about his nationality. Read. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Read. To whom pertain of the adoption? All the adoption, meaning what? Being grafted back in pertains to who? The Israelites. Read. And the glory. All the glory that you read about. I know y'all want to get a piece of our kingdom, but guess what? That's for us. <laughs> Glory pertains to the Israelites, read. And the covenant. All the covenants, both old and new covenants, pertain to the Israelites, read. And the giving of the law. And the what? And the giving of the law. As we covered in Psalm chapter 147, verse 19 and 20, God gave the laws to the children of Israel. Read on. And the service of God. Read. And the promises. And the promises, come on. Whose are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? And of whom as concerning the flesh. Who concerning the flesh read? Christ came. Who did Christ come for? The Israelites. Christ came for the Israelites. We don't expect you to pay attention. We just understand that our people got to wake up. That's what we got. For an hour. Hold on one second. I'm not. I'm not going to argue with you when I ask this. I, I'm not. It's not an argument. It's a question. You said Understood. that our lineage, and I'll own it, even though I'm one eighth Syrian, and I believe that probably falls somewhere into the whatever your father is. is. Um, you said that we, as uh, Caucasian, are speaking, sp speaking so specifically about so the so-called Caucasians. I stand here as one of them. You said that we're the devils and that we have wronged you. Right. And I understand, because I'm a history major in college, and, and I've studied this a lot, actually, about persecutions that your nationality as Hispanics and, uh, and everybody was pretty much put under. By slavery who? and all these things through us. Now let me let me right. let me speak. Let me speak. I'm listening to you. We are going to apologize for our forefathers, even though we have nothing to do with them. I don't agree with what they did. Now I want to find a way to be at peace with all of you, because I believe in Christ, and you say that you believe in Christ. And if we walk this path saying the same thing, one of us has to yield in some place. I want to find a place of peace with you, and I want to find a place of peace with all of you, because we believe 
be Christ, and you say that you believe in Christ. Now, if that means fulfilling the law, every single jot and tittle, then we'll do that. But I believe that our fulfillment of the law is found in Christ. Now, how can I be at peace with you, and you, and you, and you, and all of you, if I say that I believe in Christ, and you do too? How can I be at peace with you? You asking me? Yes. Give me Isaiah 14, 21. Bring it out! Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Hey, listen, I understand where you're coming from. Do you want a cupcake? Hey, no, no, no. That's, that's the <laughs> they're gift. They're birthday cupcakes. Gift destroyed the heart. We don't do that. But anyways, I understand where you're coming from. And as sentimental as it was, I understand what you're trying to, what you're trying to say. But understand this, sir. Your people have been doing this for a long time. I have not. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Your people have a track record of promises, of gifts, of lying. Now, an apology is one thing. If you're truly apologetic, if you truly are sorry for what your nation has done, you understand, you're a history major. What is it, 1865 to what, are you? Well, slavery started before that. I'm talking about as far as what history, I've, I've taken Oh, no, no, well, specifically, I've studied the early American uh, so, civilization. Well, prior to 1865, right? I, actually, kind of about up to 1865, beginning of the Civil War. Okay, so, same time. so you understand the carnage that the so-called white man has caused Absolutely. upon the face of the earth, right? I understand the carnage that every human being has put on the face okay. of the earth. Biblically, you're, you're right, other nations have done that. But when we speak biblically, when God told us to do it, we was following what the Lord told us to do. There was a difference. But I understand what you're saying, but this is where we find peace. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Read. Prepare slaughter for his children. Read that again. Prepare slaughter for his children. The Bible says prepare slaughter for his children. Read. For the iniquities of their fathers. The reason why, when you read in Obadiah, it says the whole nation of Edom got to go. Right. Every last one. He says, there shall not be one remaining from the Mount of Esau. Because you will never be trusted. Now, I don't know. I'm saying this because you're putting yourself in this Edomite boat. I don't know you. You say you're a Syrian? On behalf of Fine. Edomites, yes. You have put so much upon the face of the earth that it has reached the eyes of God. And God has prophesied that every last one of you has to die. Well, then give me good news. I want you to want know the good news? This good news. Do you news? want the good news? Give me revelations. Because I got some good news for you. Chapter 13, verse 10. Read that, 10. That's an even better one. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leads into captivity, who led us into captivity, read. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Read on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's the, That's the good news. Now, again, don't think, and I know exactly how y'all feeling right now, and let them emotions go. We're not out here to fight you. We ain't gonna oh, beat no. nobody up. No we are dispatched by Jesus Christ himself. The good news is the children of Israel rising back up to who they are, keeping God's commandments. Right, right. Stopping, stopping the murdering of us, of ourselves, stopping doing the drugs and the daggone uh, thievery amongst us, and coming back to who we are. I don't, That's I don't, why yeah. you see us out here. No, no emotion, no emotion whatsoever. I That's see the good Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the thing. I, yeah, let, me, let me speak, <laughs> let me speak before you get into that. Listen, read that one more time. Revelation chapter 13, no, verse 10. Read, read again, here's the good news. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. There's nothing promised to any other nation besides the nation of Israel. That's so right. for you to think that there's good news, meaning I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna make you feel good going down the block, you're not gonna find that here, No, no listen, let, before, please. I, I, I like don't, I don't, listen, I, I understand exactly what you guys have been saying. I, I follow along with the scriptures, I've learned a lot about myself, I may not be able to quote them all. Right. Here's what I don't understand. When the Bible does talk about this good news, and we can't stay forever, obviously, I mean, I understand what you guys are doing. Right. We'd love to spit gospel back and forth, but I don't believe that'll resolve any conflict. No, because we're out we here for We want to know the good news, not because... We're out here for you guys. Not because... Yeah. 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 Asalaamu who? Wrong one. We're the Israelites. So, hey, hey, hey. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, <laughs> not, not because we want uh, uh, to sort of get, throw ourselves in there and, and feel good as we walk down the street. No, we want the gospel to convict us and cut our hearts very deeply. That way we can repent and come to Christ. Now, here's the thing. It breaks my heart to think that someone out here might not know Jesus Christ and might not experience the goodness that he does offer through his blood. Now, that breaks my heart. I don't hear hearts breaking from you fine gentlemen. 
I, I hear very you. angry words that could convict, but they have not convicted me yet because the blood of Jesus Christ is what convicts me. That is where my hope is found. That is where your hope is found as well. Right. Now, at that note, listen, we, we've got to go. Listen. Right, that was that was good. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. This is why you don't see that emotion. We're not we're like yeah, Jesus no, Christ. No emotion. Christ wasn't oh, like that. See, the world wants you to think that Christ was this mamsy pamsy, yellow makes no. me sad, I don't know that. stringy haired Edomite. That we wasn't him. That. Christ was an austere man and he didn't play with that. the people. Well, we're not gonna play with anybody either. No, he, was, he, he was told people what did he call Peter? Yes. Angry he called him Satan. Yeah. So when I called you the devil. No, look at me like, well, why? Well, Peter's why response is that? when called the devil was. He got ridiculous. in order. Yes, right. Exactly. I'm Read. asking you how it came out. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Read. Quiet aloud. Spare not. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Come on. And show my people their transgressions. That's why we're out here. Now, you want us to tell you something that's going to make you feel good. The best not thing that you can do at the end of the day is go home and hope all you can that you are not an Edomite. Because the Bible says, y'all got to go. It's not a conversation because God doesn't hear your prayers. God only hears the prayers of the children of Israel. That's I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Times. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.